Hey everybody, it's time for another Redneck Review. This is Robert, the Red Prince, here to uh, do another, you know, Redneck Review. <laughs> Alright, um, today I'm keeping on the path of uh, the New Warriors. We have New Warriors number three. Uh, just to give you a little backstory, uh, this is the third or fourth iteration of this team. Um, it hasn't had a lot of time to develop, but it's one of my absolute favorite new titles that's come out of the Marvel now. Very few have. Um, it is, uh, basically what's been going on is Justice and Speedball, the two reoccurring members of the New Warriors, have um, decided to put the team back together. They still think there's a place for them in this new uh, world. I'm not so sure. Um, you know, the new roster includes Justice, a uh, new girl, a new superhero named Sun Girl, Scarlet uh, Spider, Nova. Uh, hummingbird and uh, another uh, Atlantean known as Water Snake that I don't really know too much about. Well, anyway, it's written by Christopher Yost, the guy who did all the uh, Uncanny X Force stuff, um, and Marcus too is the artist. So we're gonna dive right in. What happened last time was there's this uh, the story arc basically is about these guys called the Evolutionaries, not related to the High Evolutionary. He's in this story, but he's not the main character. Um, that are going around and just killing anyone who is a superhuman, uh, inhuman, anything that is not pure human, meaning can't fly, can't shoot laser beams, cannot you allow men to lose control of their bowels. Alright, we're going to dump in here. We're going to jump in here, not dump in here. Because, and we start off with a fairy tale. We start off with the story of this, how... Uh, they, the evolutionaries came to being. They had been called experiment, experimenters, analyzers, probers, and testers. They were worshipped and feared as space gods, but they have another name, celestials. They came to Earth when man was but a beast. For reasons known only to them, they transformed those creatures into three races, human, eternal, and deviant. And the then the Celestials left. Earth became a world of men, angels, and demons. And while the Eternals and Deviants waged a great war against one another, mankind began to evolve. The Celestials and the Seed. The Celestials laid the seed for beast, beast to transform into something wonderful. So basically, it's an all evolutionary story. If you've ever seen my uh, stuff, you know that I'm not a proponent of uh, evolution. But this is where they say things went wrong. But through folly, seduction, and madness, the evolution of man strayed off the celestial's path. Radiation gave Earth self-styled superhumans. A genetic anomaly brought the dawn uh, of destructive mutant kind. An experiment transformed human into something inhuman. A warlike species known as the Atlanteans took root in the dark darkness under the sea. Mad scientists took human DNA and cloned it, creating aberrations. Mankind was preyed upon by threats both magical and alien. Hybrids were spawned, further diluting the Celestial's plan. This was never meant to be. And we see in the story, it's a uh, high evolutionary telling this story to a captured Nova, who uh, apparently they... Uh, are going to allow him to live. Um, and the high evolutionary is telling him all this. He, Sam doesn't understand. He goes, my name is, he goes, he goes uh, young Nova, my name is Herbert Edgar Win Windham, but I am better known as the high evolutionary. I myself became part of the problem. I created a race of new men, but that was before I knew what was coming, judgment. The Celestials are returning, Sam Alexander, the final host judges and executioners. If it is if it is to survive, humanity must be made pure. And Sam's like, all right, doesn't really answer my question. All right, I think I've got it. You're like a space Nazi or something. <laughs> this kid, you know, if you've ever read my Nova reviews, this kid is brand new. He doesn't understand how the high evolutionary and stuff like that works. Well, it basically reveals his plan. We, um... Uh, we find out that he's trying to find, take all the code DNA and preserve it. So when the Celestials do come, he'll have this data to repopulate the planet. So they'll leave and he'll be able to re reattain it. 
and apparently he's working with the other evolutionaries. Can't really see that, but uh, Lord, the other evolutionaries show up with their armorings as Lord High Evolutionary. What is the meaning of this, the evolutionary says? This you were to return with gene samples from Lemora, not prisoners. Yes, my lord, but the site was under attack by deviants. We slaughtered as many as we could. But the female Atlantean, she sought out allies. Look at them, my lord. And he captures a hummingbird. They captured hummingbird and uh, the scarlet spider, like they did in the last one. And the girl, she see, she reeks of magic. But the other Spider-Man, his genes are engineered. He is a clone. There is no coincidence. Take samples, then contain them, for we have much to do. I guess prepare yourself, evolutionaries, for war is coming. All right. So either they're playing an extinction level event. Well, we check back into New York, where Justice and Speedball are trying to handle the uh, situation with the uh, new and human. We haven't really got a name for him yet. His, his officer stand down, and Justice is trying to get the uh, people to stand out. He's like, hey, I'm an Avenger. Please, uh, you know, take my word for this guy. Officer, stand down. I can explain my name is Justice. I'm an Avenger. Warrior! Speed by <laughs> Sarcastically, like, you know, you're one of us now. You're not part of the uh, Avengers. He goes, there's been a misunderstanding. Yeah, no kidding. This guy saved my life, some girl says. You, uh, pull a gun on him? That, what the heck, what the hell is wrong with you guys? We have multiple witnesses claiming the expulsion, explosion was caused by an Asian American male and a he's one of those he's an inhuman and they're you can just tell that they're you can tell that Marvel is trying to create their own line of mutants through inhumans, so there's probably gonna be a movie about that and it's gonna take off from the stories of Infinity. And as uh, the fear as uh, this cops in everybody is so afraid of uh, of the inhuman, uh, justice just created the telepathic force for them and gets them out of there. And they're over here uh, trying to figure out how to handle this because they gave her a rooftop. He goes, and what fight the. He goes, he goes she shot me. The, get, the cop actually was going to shoot me, the inhuman says. Yeah, Spider Man gets that all the time. Yeah, they're basically telling hey, you know, if you're going to be, you know, superhuman, you know, this is the stuff that you guys have to deal with. So, you know, it's a cool little. He goes, he goes, you're not help. He goes, you're not helping Speedball. <laughs> so they all go to the roof. They're trying to figure out a way to um, handle these guys that have showed up, and together uh, rescue it to figure out who's uh, in charge. They think it's the High Evolutionary. Great guess, seeing how he's involved. And uh, she tells him, you know, never ask for this. You saved my life. He goes, some girl tells him, those those things blasted you, and you just took it like it was nothing. Whatever happened to you, whatever happened to you, embrace it. Don't take this the wrong way. Justice tells him because he's a mutant, he's a human. He goes, don't take this the wrong way. But you have no idea what you're talking about. Did you really just say that to me? Time out. Awkward sense. Tingling. <laughs> Speedball tells him. What gear you got, you can take that. The gear you got, you can take off. Justice tells him. Um, because we should be proud. He should be proud of what he is. She tells him. And this, I found this a really great story because this is someone who's having difficulties, um, and two people who are probably used to uh, persecution. Not that you know, African Americans have had as much as they, you know, as have had as. Uh, Roman times they used to, but still, you know, these are two, you know, every person has some sort of difficulty. And I love the idea that they can fight about it. And, it, and it's just, you know, common occurrence. He goes, whether, whether we know the royal family of the Inhumans, we can... He goes, whatever. He goes, and Justice tells him, look, I know the royal family of the Inhumans. We can find a way to help you, he's telling him. Royal family. What is that? He goes, it's complicated. There's a dog. <laughs> Speedball tells him. Thought about the Inhumans and all this stuff together. Well, anyway, the story switches back, and we find uh, Sam, uh, Scarlet Spider, named Marita or whatever her name is, uh, still in the thrall of the uh, High Evolutionary. There's Spider-Man. Nova wakes up. He says, "Spider-Man, Spider-Man, wake up!" He goes, "I'm not Spider-Man. What? What? Just wake up!" We're kind of in trouble here. He goes, good morning, this is Sam. He's been, you know, they're all just 
telling they're having a fun uh, banner between all of them. He goes, don't call. He goes, don't call me Spider-Man. Uh, Kane tells him. What? Why? Not because you changed costumes. What? What are you even doing? Trying to burn through this? He goes, yeah. Well, it's not working, Spider-Man. I'm not Spider-Man, kid. Stop calling me that. He uses some foul language, but uh, he goes. He's Scarlet Spider. I'm Hummingbird. You're Sam. She's the water snake. She's on a quest. Look, okay, Sam tells him, you know, it's just more banter and really great stuff. Stuff you really need to read the comic for. But uh, anyway, the general idea is um, they're talking and Scarlet Spider right here is trying to, he has the ability to communicate with spiders. And he's trying to uh, concentrate so he can uh, get them to uh, tamper with the equipment so he can eventually make his escape. He goes, well, that's just great. I wish you were Spider-Man. <laughs> he, he goes, no, you don't. Why? Because Spider-Man can, can't talk to spiders. What? And they come in and they start tearing through the, uh, the machinery. And uh, Scarlet Spider-Man just break through. He goes, go, go to... He, all of a sudden, Scarlet Spider-Man goes up, go to Mexico, drink a margarita, put my feet in the sand. Was that too much to ask? That is disturbing. <laughs> And Marie says, I'm seriously going to barf. And he goes, My hero! <laughs> Alright, well, back on the roof, we find uh, Justice, Speedball, and the new Sun Girl. He goes, in, uh, tr still trying to figure things out. He goes, You just goes, You shot him, Sun Girl. Mark, buddy, you okay? Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I, I, yeah, I'm okay. I feel kind of great, actually. That was totally out of line, Justice tells Sun Girl. He goes that you're he goes that you're unhinged. What you had to see what well, you had to see for yourself. He can eat fire. You know, like I said last time, the little Natsu dude, he's freaking awesome. He goes that guy, the, these creatures are serious they're all talking about the uh, he says, you know, this guy can uh, help himself. We all need to get together and basically have a uh, team moment here. He tells him, listen, those war those things are dangerous. You're out of your league. We need to contact the Avengers. They're better equipped to handle stuff like this. Yeah. Then where where were they? Uh, Sun Girl says, you know, if they're the big mighty heroes, why are they not here? And it's a good question for these younger teams that are showing up. He goes He goes, Aren't you an Avenger? He goes, No, he's a warrior now. Well, then act like one, he tells him. We have to find out how they say. They're just trying to go get everyone they have in this team together and uh, put, me up, put it put together go after him. Well, we find uh, Scarlet Spider, um, Hummingbird, Nova, and all them. They've escaped from their cages, and they're trying to get find all their equipment and stuff to get ready because we're in trouble. And all of a sudden, they are met by about 30 high evolutionaries. And uh, they're all ready to go, and Noah says they need to come up with a plan, but uh, everyone's like, there's no no time. So we have uh, Hummingbird, Scarlet Spider, Namorita, them fighting uh, through these evolutionaries. You know, this is they know what they're doing now. They understand who the enemy is, and uh, there's a little bit more of a fair fight. But eventually, greater numbers overcome. And we find uh, even Kane, you know, being held down by one of them. He goes, you, you, an abomination of science, you were never meant to be. I will now correct that. He goes, no! And Nova rushes in to uh, try and help him. They tell him, you know, listen, you've got to get out of here. You're the only one who can fly, so you have to go and get help. You get, bring the Avengers, bring whoever you can. And he goes, I'm not going to just leave you guys, leave you guys to die. What kind of hero would do that? the kind that would save millions of lives uh, instead of just three. Whoa. We can do this. We can win. No, we can't, Kane tells him. Spider-Man! And it, the evolutionaries knock out Spider-Man. They want him to go... He wanted Nova to leave and go tell them you know, what the high evolutionary and they're doing, that they're going to eradicate all the uh, superhumans on the planet. He goes, but uh, he came back because he's trying to be a hero, which is you know, great... great... Uh, thing for this kid. I, I like this new Nova spirit right now. It's really uh, been a great uh, issue for this. And he's left alone to uh, face the evolutionaries. Now, 
all in all, that's the uh, end of the issue right there. But it's a really good story so far. Um, Second Stringers comics usually have just a couple great moments. But this has had a great moments throughout these all three issues. I hope it continues like this. Altogether, I'm going to give uh, The New Warriors number three a 4.75 for the story. Uh, the art, i got to give it a five. It's uh, very enthralling, very great. Uh, my issue right here is a little bent, so uh, it's not a great resale value, but uh, I'm going to find another one. All right, guys, well, that's your Redneck Review from Robert the Red Prince. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the New Warrior stuff. I know I have. Leave us some uh, comments below. Remember, 4.75 on this one. It's a good recommend. I recommend the New Warriors line. Um, and, uh, you know, a 5 on the art. It's great art. All right, well, that's your Redneck Review from Robert. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you would like, leave us some comments down here. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, if uh, you want me to spruce things up or try something different, let me know. I'm trying to uh, get back in the habit of doing these things. So I'll get you later, guys. And uh, God bless you. Remember that. Bye.